I think what I really want is my AI to be measuring my cortisol levels and my heart rate and the, the tenor of my voice and to like say, Peter, excuse me a second, watch this video. <laughs> yes. Well, right. that's what the coach, that's what we're training the coach to do. Yeah. So the AI, the Thrive AI coach is trained on only on peer-reviewed literature, mm -hmm. not on the whole of the web. <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good thing, not on the whole of the web. There's a, a, there's a lot of there. shocking recommendations out there. Our behavior change methodology are thousands of micro steps, videos, articles, resets, and uh, also the, a very, very thorough onboarding. So when we onboard you, we'll get all your biometric data, lab data, medical data, but also all your preferences, yeah. the foods you like to eat, the, uh, the, the time you like to go to sleep, you know, the exercise you like, everything, so that our um, recommendations and nudges and micro steps are going to be hyper-personalized. I think that's really the superpower of AI. The level of hyper-personalization would not be possible without the context window of AI, you know, billions and potentially trillions of data points. And the multimodal version, right? We're all going to have so I, I speak about this a lot, the notion that we're all going to have some version of Jarvis from Iron Man, call it a co-pilot, call it your coach that um, knows everything about you. You're going to give it permission to know anything and everything about you so that it can maximize its support of you, right? Yes. It's, it's measuring your sleep. You'll give it permission to listen to your conversations, to, uh, to read your emails, and at least I believe there's going to be a future where it heard my conversation with somebody. I walk into the room. It knows I'm stressed. The music changes. My yes. reset video comes up on the screen. Um, and, and I'm psychologically reset. At the same time, my AI is measuring my blood sugar, my vitamin levels, my mRNAs, whatever. And it's telling the robot in the kitchen what meal to prepare needed for my blood, you know, my blood markers at this moment. And, you know, I, I love the fact that there is so much that's possible right now. Mm -hmm. And then there are things that are going to be possible maybe sooner than we think, like a robot in the kitchen preparing our meal. But I think it's important to know how much is available right now uh, because people are hurting. 